So I had a pretty eventful weekend. We reached over 110,000 souls. Only 90k souls left to reach the 200k mortal plan, so I'm ecstatic about that. We had our collaboration with Carthus Dojo where he fake took over my channel. It was all condoned and we had a blast doing what ifs on the channel for three days. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out the takeover, I'm going to leave a link for that playlist in the description below and the top comment. You guys can go ahead and check it out. And lastly, I was able to see Captain Marvel and actually really did enjoy the movie. Now, there were some pacing issues throughout the movie. And even though I liked Brie Larson's Captain Marvel, she did get overshadowed just a little bit throughout the movie by the outstanding work of Samuel L. Jackson. But besides that, I thought it was a really fun movie and the end credit scene is a must to see before Avengers Endgame. And lastly, probably the best thing that happened this weekend is a new shipping has been born. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. So throughout the whole weekend, I was greeted by images of Jiren X Zamazu, and there were a ton of these pictures from this one scene in the new Dragon Ball Heroes Episode 9. So unfortunately, as busy as I was all weekend, I didn't get a chance to sit down and watch Episode 9 up until this morning, and I gotta say, when did Dragon Ball Heroes become good? Because up to this point, it has been passable, it has been something that has been holding us over until the return of Dragon Ball Super. It's been fun not to be taken seriously, but in this episode, it felt like it wanted to hit all nostalgic marks. We get the return of Baby Vegeta. We get Jiren coming back. We get Jiren vs. Samazu, which is something that the fandom has been talking about since we've seen Jiren in action because Zamazu was the big bad of the previous arc and we wanted to see exactly what would happen if these two fought and let me tell you it's a lot more fun than I realized. I finally get to see Cumber get taken down a peg or two because Cumber is by far my least favorite character in Dragon Ball Heroes. Trunks continues his place as being useless and being thrown around like a rag doll, just like his dad. I think the last time that Trunks was cool was back in the Cell arc because anything in Dragon Ball Super, he just failed miserably at. Yes, I'm including the Spirit Sword in there also. And of course, finally, we get to see Ultra Instinct come back. Ultra Instinct Omen through Grand Priest Disciple Goku. We don't get to see the training that the Grand Priest put Goku in. And the way the Dragon Ball Heroes is set up with such short episodes, I mean, if you take away the intro and you take away the outro, then it's like six minutes. So I'm glad that we didn't get to see more of that training. He just kind of came in and took out Baby Vegeta. I know he's not Baby Vegeta. I'm going to be calling him Baby Vegeta. Now, when it go to Baby Vegeta, actually... This guy right here, I think this design looks better than second grade Baby Vegeta from GT. You guys remember which one I'm talking about. But, unfortunately, this new Baby Vegeta is inferior to the final form of Baby Vegeta in GT. Those are just my thoughts on that. Ultra Instinct's return was really satisfying and everybody, even the villains, were shocked to see him. But it seemed like they were also shocked to see the Grand Priest there. Maybe thinking that the Grand Priest is going to intervene, but nah. The Grand Priest pulls a Whis and just hauls ass out of there. He's like, nah, you got this. Boom. Gone. So, unfortunately, we're not going to see the Grand Priest at all fight. And I think it'll be a very long time before we, if we ever see any of the angels actually do combat. Unfortunately, I don't think Dragon Ball Super is going to show us that. Dragon Ball Heroes will be the perfect playground to see something like that and maybe we'll see it at the very end of this series but i don't think that they're gonna do it i don't think that they're gonna put much of that in there because the angels would be so much more powerful than even this guy now when we get to jiren guys jiren in my opinion is way more badass here than he was in the torment of power 
And here, he's on the actual battlefield. He's facing off against actual villains. And they can't even put a dent in this guy. He's just, he hasn't even powered up yet. He's just in his base form or base energy level, whatever. And Cumber has the balls to be like, okay, we are at the same level, but you still can't defeat me. While Cumber's powering up into Super Saiyan, like his ultimate form. And we have Jiren just in his normal form. I don't know. We don't know much about Jiren still. And yeah, he pulled some bullshit in the Tournament of Power, but I really did enjoy him here. I thought he was really well done. I thought the animation with his fights were top notch in the same level, same category as some of the better fights in Dragon Ball Super. So that was also a relief to see. And of course, he had his little moment with Samazu. I mean, this love story basically writes itself. Jiren, the strongest mortal in the universe, as strong as gods of destruction, if not even closer to the angels. And then we have Samazu, who's not entirely that strong or even close to being that strong, but doesn't think that mortals should be that strong or far stronger than him. It's a match made in heaven. But unfortunately, I don't think Zamazu wants it. Ultimately, the episode was pretty good in my opinion. I mean, Vegeta, of course, gets no shine, and that's just to be expected from Dragon Ball. Unfortunately, that's the case. Trunks followed suit, no shine for him either. I don't even know why he's there. Guys, just sit back and let Goku take care of this, unless at some point in the next episode some bullshit happens and he loses his power but i think that's what the training with the grand priest was supposed to do it was supposed to stop that from happening either way guys i'm heading out thank you so much for your patience throughout this weekend i know it was kind of tough having somebody else run my channel and seem like they were hacking in but i'm telling you it was all fabricated it was all just a promotional thing because i wanted to keep my pledge to support smaller channels and Carthus dojo's content is fire and he's on the rise so i wanted to go ahead and support him and I will continue to do that. I will continue to support smaller content creators on our road to complete the 200k mortal plan. This is going to be Blackscape. Signing off. Take care, guys.